Hey guys, I thought I'd show you my new fancy DS10 manager. So this is my file of save files, and this is my folder with exported tracks, which is not very useful anymore. So we start up the program, we get a nice splash screen. Okay, first of all we see we get a warning in the log window, uh, because we haven't set a library folder. First of all, let's choose a template save file. Uh, this file is used as a template when creating new save files, uh, so you can just pretty much choose any one. Um, the library folder is a folder which is uh, traversed for save files and exported files. So the program will automatically check every file in this folder. You can check this box or uncheck it if you want to use the system look and feel or not. Uh, the system look and feel is nicer looking, but will not always uh, work perfectly. Uh, the log delay is f mostly for debugging, uh, or if you want to see in more in detail what happens while parsing or uh, doing other stuff in the program. Okay, so let's check out the, the log here. Uh, we can see we have a few warnings. Uh, first of all, the old one, because we didn't have a library set. But also a new one, uh, telling us that there are uh, two tracks with the same name and the same modification date, but with different data. Uh, this generates a warning and ignores one of the versions. In this case, the problem was we, ha we had two um, files, or two tracks with the same name in the same save file, and the whole save file has the same modification date. Um, if we don't care, that's fine, um, otherwise we'll have to do something about it. This is the tracks pane and this is the patches pane. Uh, tracks pane is, is the most uh, interesting part. So here we have our tracks, um, and for every track we can see all the versions. Um, and we can export it as a separate file, um, or we can just Double click it to um, put into the to the tracks pane. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. Double click it. You can right click and choose copy the save file, or you can just select it and click the copy button. Uh, so <laughs> there are lots of alternatives to uh, to transfer files. Double clicking is the fastest one, and if you double click the uh, uh, the main name of a track, you'll you'll always get the most recent version. Um, but you can select older versions as well if you feel like it. Uh, you can use the backspace button to uh, go backwards or erase tracks in the tracks pane. And so I'm I'm currently uh, preparing my set list for a gig I'm doing in a couple of days. Uh, but I will probably not post this until afterwards because I don't want to give it away. Um, so I'll, I'm just uh, filling in my my track list here. And we're done. So that's all of them. Um, I haven't copied over any patches because I'm not really interested. We can also see here that we cancelled the export earlier. Okay, so let's save it to a save file. Uh, there's a default suggestion, we can change it of course. Uh, I'll just put level up 2012. And save it. And we can see here, it used the template file we chose. And collected all the tracks and the patches. And saved it to a save file in my home directory uh, here Let's see, there thanks for watching guys i hope you like this application and find some use for it 
Um, if there are any problems or something you don't understand, feel free to contact me. Um, I'm more than happy to help.